caught, sir. It seems to be shifting around inside the net. Easy now. We don't want to lose it. Get ready to haul her in. Depth? 75 feet, sir. Slow down by a third. Aye, sir. sign of any uncharted island out there, Chief. Looks at things, it's uh, not only is she uncharted, but she doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. Flying sub to Seaview. Flying sub to Seaview, come on. This is Seaview, FS1. We read you loud and clear. Look, there's, there's nothing but empty ocean out there, Lee. Now, let's check those coordinates. Your coordinates are uh, L-54, M-32, Vector-7. Well, the figure's checked. But there, there's still no island. Um, what's that report, Sidio? Routine specimen collecting. We picked up something in one of the nets. Yeah, and what is it? We're just bringing it aboard. If it's like everything else we've sampled out here, it won't be very exciting. Mm-hmm. Sir, this thing's a... Uh... <laughs> it's an egg. Whatever it is, it's been down the bottom of the ocean. Long, long time. Missile room, this is the captain. Request Mr. Morton report to the control room. I'll be right up, sir. Incidentally, this specimen net is back aboard. And it brought back some kind of gigantic egg. Did you say egg? That's what it looks like, sir. Must be at least six feet long. Six feet. Very well. I'll have the admiral take a look at it when it gets aboard. Meanwhile, um, post a guard so it doesn't get damaged. Aye, aye, sir. Kowalski, stand guard in the corridor. Don't move that thing. Don't even touch it until the Admiral gets down here. Aye, sir. All right, Ray, now you hear the exec. Leave it alone.
that specimen you picked up off the bottom? Apparently, it's some kind of large egg. Egg? Well, that's right, sir. I have some crewmen standing guard until you have time to inspect it. I'll get to it right away. Chief, rerun that data through the computer. Let's see if we can get a lead on this island we're trying to find. Aye, right, sir. human monster. It, uh, it came out of that shell. I, uh, I heard a noise. Master Rans, this is the Admiral. Establish full security measures throughout the ship. There's a dangerous creature aboard. Proceed with caution. Use tranquilizing or stun guns if possible. Aye, sir. Sick bay, send stretcher barriers to the missile room. We have a fatality here. Aye, aye, sir. Kowalski, you better have Doc check you over. Then report back to duty. Aye, sir. What do you think came out of there? Oh, we'll, we'll find out soon enough. It's around here somewhere. Meanwhile, we'd better find out where the breeding ground is before any more of them hatch out. Check corridors, storerooms, every inch of space in the area. We've got to find that thing before it kills again. Aye, aye, sir. Five weeks ago, a giant amphibian was reported seen on this atoll. Two weeks later, others reported here. Then, during the next ten days, we had similar reports from here and here. Now, we've just picked up a specimen here, right in the center of the reporting areas, where an uncharted island is supposed to lie. There's a definite connection between that thing we have aboard and this island, and we have to find it. Prepare the flying shaft for immediate launch. Hi, sir. Here's the computer results of the island data. Huh? The coordinates are exactly the same. So we're left with an apparently non-existent island in our hands. Now, what we have aboard Seaview, believe me, exists. <laughs> Some kind of a monster looks amphibian. It's coming in here, sir. It's coming into the reactor room. Get out of there, Patterson. That thing's a killer. Get security details down to the reactor room on the double. Block off all corridors and compartments in the area. toward the engineering and maneuvering rooms. All hands are to stay clear of that area. Only security patrols are to be in the area. Repeat, only security patrols are to enter the engineering and maneuvering area. I've alerted the area, sir. We'll handle things aboard. You just find that island. If it is a breeding ground for things like that, we have to eliminate it. All right. Let's go. Thanks, sir.
sign of that island, sir. It should be right over the middle of it. I'll make a sweep to the south. It'll take us a bit off the reported course. Now, we'll give it a try. There's nothing here. Out there, starboard side. Take over. That's what we just were. I'd swear it wasn't it the first time we looked. FS1 deceive you. FS1 deceive you. Come in, please. Admiral, is the exec. Captain Crane's going in from the flying sub. Uh, Piper to the intercom, Chet. Aye, sir. Go ahead, sir. Aye, right, this is Nelson Lane. I think we found our island. Oh, what position? Uh, believe it or not, at the original coordinates. <laughs> I believe it, but I don't quite understand it. Uh, anything unusual looking about it? Well, not from here, but we're going in for a closer look. What's your situation? Well, we're, we're still looking for whatever's loose aboard. We'll keep in touch. Aye, sir. We'll go in at 500 feet. Right, sir. What's wrong, sir? Something's pulling us down. FS-1 to see you. FS-1 to see you. Come in. Flying sub to see you. Flying sub to see you. Come in. Radio's off. What's the depth? 1,200. Gentlemen, I have no intention whatever of harming you. That's good to hear. Now, uh, suppose you, you tell us who you are and where you come from. There will be more than enough time for that later. Right now, I intend taking you to the destination you were seeking. The island? Yes. Your mysterious, uncharted island. And, uh, if we don't want to go with you? I regret that you do not have a choice. I disagree. I said 
You do not have a choice. Now I suggest we go to my island. Set our controls on automatic, then you're relieved of duty. Huh? Control room. Engineering and maneuvering are secured. No sign of the amphibian. Have you seen it? No, sir. Any word from the flying sub? No, sir. We've had some trouble tracking her. She's off the scanner at the moment. Same trouble? We can't tell. We've had some electrical disturbance in the circuits that caused us to lose her. We haven't been able to recontact. Just keep trying. And head for the island at flank speed. Aye, sir. Gentlemen, as you can see, we are already on my island. I do not wonder at your bewilderment. But your appearance here was no feat of magic. We of the star system you call Scorpius have certain force rays that make these things possible. That's what you are. Aliens from Scorpius. That is correct. They look almost like they once human amphibians. I have been here on your Earth a long time. I learned to speak many of your languages. You will come with me now, Captain. Where? To my laboratory. I have need of you. It is foolish for you to resist. Take the repair. No estimate yet, sir. No repair crews are available to check. Alert standby crews will get back to you. Aye, sir. Can you control the stability manually? Not yet, sir. The controls are frozen and locked. Keep trying. Aye, sir. Mrs. Nelson, what's your situation? 
We're dead in the water. Maneuvering controls and propulsion generator inoperative. Damages in the engineering and maneuvering areas. Uh, I'll check and report back. Aye, aye, sir. Engineering area. Now ready for repair party. Let's get them working. Aye, sir. And there are three more casualties here. Send stretcher bearers. Continue full security alert. Aye, sir. If you will be patient with me for a moment, gentlemen. I think you will soon see why we are here and what we are doing on this island. We could use a little explanation. And you shall have it. Approach the screen, please. They're eggs, sir. Looks like millions of them. And those are on this island, right? They are. Then what you have here is some kind of uh, a giant hatchery. It is indeed. Each of those eggs carries an embryo. And when they hatch, they will disgorge fully grown, mature members of our race, such as myself. What about that egg we hauled up in the Sevier's net? Did it come from there? Some turbulence along the fringe of the seedbed tore it loose from its resting place. It was the sea view that gave me a clue to what I have been seeking. Some quality from its low-grade radiation of the nuclear engines hastened the growth of our eggs. We have been waiting patiently for centuries for our eggs to hatch. But now, with the Sea View's nuclear reactors to activate them, they will mature overnight. And then? And then there will be millions of us from this uncharted island. I will send them out. We will take over this planet as we have taken over others. But first, we will take over the Sea View. You haven't got Sea View yet. But it is only a matter of minutes now. Keep working. Locker. That's, that's 
a long shot, son. Why, uh, why don't I make a dive for it? And while it's busy with me, you might, you, 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 you might stand a chance. No, it's do as I tell you. I see. Sir? The sound. Never mind, Chief. Get ready. Now. <laughs> And I can't raise anyone in the control room or engineering. Well, come with me. Make for the arms locker. Otherwise, let me have it. Yes, sir. What is it, sir? What are we up against? It's, it's a bit of a, kind of a force field. But there's no place for it to come from. There's no electrodes or generators set up. Well, what do we do, sir? That thing out there is practically in control of Seaview. Well, let's see if we can get at it another way. Well, come on. still say we cannot take over the sea view? Just don't count the Admiral out yet. What's he done with the cruise keeper? Mr. Morton and the others. I don't know, but look. Whoever you are. Please, Captain. You are in no position to make idle threats. And revenge is certainly one of the weakest of human emotions. You still haven't told us what you plan to do with the sea view. That is, if you take her over. I have already taken her over, and my plan is simple. As soon as the one of us who is aboard learns how to operate it, we shall destroy it, and then recover the nuclear reactor and employ it for our hatching purposes.
There's no sign of it, sir. Oh, the crew either. Sir? Huh? Don't you think we ought to get some of the other men? What if that laser gun doesn't work? You just stand back, huh? came from the egg was uh, here just a second ago. Uh -huh. And and you went. Beg pardon, sir? They were all obviously under the control of some kind of force field. Now, now, explanations later. The important thing is we can get Sea View underway, so let's get to it. Come on. This admiral of yours, he is a more worthy opponent than I had planned upon. Skipper told you not to count him out. The meaning of your phrase escapes me. But the sea view will not. How would you like to return to your sea view, Captain? What do you have in mind? Uh, you mistrust me. What a pity. I have only your own interests at heart. You'll forgive me if I doubt that. Why not? That is certainly your prerogative. If you are wondering, I merely told him to prepare your submarine for your departure. The last time we saw it was in 1,200 feet of water. We have means of transporting solid objects easily, as you should well know. It is now resting a short distance away. You mean right here, on this island? Well, why not? It is much more convenient for you that way. Please, come with me. <laughs> of these foolish human errors. I suggest you now accompany me to your flying submarine. Why not? We've got nothing better to do here. Uh, this way. Here it is, as I promised. That thing can't fly. The whole bow area is missing. I assure you, it can fly. And it will take you directly back to your sea view. Take your places at the controls. This can't take us anywhere. It will take you exactly where I want you to go, whether you agree or not. <laughs> Chief. We can crank up pretty good by hand, so be better, of course, if we got full maneuvering back. Well, the latest estimate is 30 minutes, but we'll have full propulsion power before then, so be ready to crank it up. Hi, sir. Admiral, hmm? could you check over the sonar reading, sir? What's the problem? We have a reading about 5,000 yards range, approaching sea view over 60 knots, but I can't quite make it out. Mm -hmm. We're coming in a direct line. Yes, sir. Like it was an underwater missile or a torpedo. But the sonar bounce is too big. I was wondering if it might be the flying sub. Yeah, yeah. Sea view to flying sub. Sea view to flying sub. 
Your evening, over. Flying Santa Cecilio. Are you receiving us? Answer, please. Still moving toward us. Range now 4,000 yards. Heading dead on, sir. Yeah. That must be the flying sub. Look at the scanning pattern. It's identical with the one we always get. What about the homing beam? It's a little fuzzy, but it also reads flying sub. Their transmission must be out. That's why they haven't reported earlier. Prepare torpedoes for immediate lunch. Torpedoes, what's that? Chip. Aye, aye. Control room to missile room. Missile room, aye. Prepare torpedoes for immediate firing. Aye, aye, sir. Like this sonar in with a sealed camera. Telescopic lens. Yes, sir. Flying sub, sir. I'll belay that firing order. Now hold it. Patterson, give me greater magnitude. I'm going to see inside if possible. Troy, sir. All right, fire torpedoes. We just saw them, Crane and Kowalski. They're in the missile room. Are the torpedoes locked on target? Locked on target, aye. And fire. to see, Admiral. Oh, I don't know. It could be, uh, could be anything out there. Not the flying sub. You just blew her out of the water. No. No, I, I don't think so. We saw the flying sub there, sir. Instrumentation had her locked in. The torpedoes blew her apart. Well, they blew something apart, but it wasn't the flying sub. Don't you understand? We are under attack. By whom? By what? Now, how do I know? By uh, aliens, amphibians, whatever race that creature we destroyed belonged to. I... I, I... I, I don't know. Chief, sir, try to bring us up to periscope depth. Aye, sir. Let's try to bring that bubble up 10 degrees. Sir, I grant you there's something going on that we don't understand. But the flying sub was there. Yep. Chief, it was an illusion. All we actually saw were Crane and Kowalski frozen in their seats. The controls locked in reverse. A very fuzzy pattern on our scanner. And that object was not maneuvering for berthing. It was coming toward us in a straight, unwavering line. Admiral. We're at 90 feet, leveling off the periscope depth. Uh, upscope. Aye, sir. Then what we blew apart in the water... Uh-huh, uh-huh. ...were missiles camouflaged to make us believe they were the flying sub. So, our illusion did not work. Your trip to the sea view was not successful. We shall have to try other means to destroy her. What's he talking about, sir? We haven't moved from here. You haven't, no. But your image did. Superimposed on lethal missiles. They couldn't have been very lethal. You said they didn't work. No, they didn't. But as the sea view shall not allow us to visit her, we shall bring her here to visit us. You will remain here while we accomplish our mission. What do you mean, 
being sued and bring the CV here to visit them. I don't know. But I'm afraid that somehow he... He's going to do just that. the island we've been searching for? Mm, it is. How can we be sure? Because it, it materialized when I was looking at MTC. Chief. Sir. We're moving. Check our course and speed. I sir. Speed, 10 knots and building. And what bearing? 130. Our main propulsion generator is still dead. We have no power to get underway, and yet we're still headed toward that island. Chief, prepare missiles for firing. Range 12,000 yards, bearing 130. Aye, sir. Are you going to destroy the island before it destroys us? That is correct. No chance of it being another illusion? No, none. None. Captain Kranikowski might still possibly be on that island. It's only possible. I'm convinced. I'm, I'm convinced that they aren't. It's no good, sir. The invisible wall is all the way across. Let's see if we can do something with these. Laser guns? Hey, how did they happen to leave these aboard? I guess they didn't know what they were. They're so advanced that the use of handguns must have been lost deep in their past. Now, look, Ski, we'll both fire at the same time. Now, maybe the combined power will break the wall down. Uh-huh. And if it doesn't and the laser beam reflects back at us? Do you have any better ideas? No, sir, I don't. All right. You ready? Ready, sir. Set those firing mechanisms on the double. What do you think this is, a Coney Island shooting gallery? Admiral, we're running into shoal water. The depth is now only 250 feet. It's showing fast, 163 feet. At that rate, we'll be aground before we can fire those missiles. Then we'll fire when we're aground. Near the bottom, 92 feet. Mr. Rome, fire when ready, don't wait for command. Aye, sir, but we're still 30 seconds from firing time. 71 feet. 67 feet. 63 feet. <laughs> away. The sea view has run aground. Now all that remains is to destroy her. You've 
destroyed it. The force ray that would make Sieve you mine. You shall die for that. <laughs> At least that works against him. Well, there's still more around. And we don't know what weapons they might have. Let's head for the beach. He could have. Should we have enough to do to salvage Sea View? I shall get right away. Yeah. Let's get underway as fast as possible. 